yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Lump Vision. I go by the names Lump, D-Lump, or LV. It doesn't matter which one you want to call me, I'll respond to any of them. Before I get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers, old and new, and everybody that comes by and watches my channel and check me out. I am back in the car studio. School's back in session, car studio. I might be pushing out more videos because around this time I'm gonna be coming to pick up the kids and I can sit and you know kick out a video um, that's more than the one minute shorts that I've been doing and try to stay connected. But today's video, I wanna talk about something that uh, I haven't done in a really long time and probably about, probably about two years. I used Beard Balm. I've used the Beard Balm for the first time in two years. And the Beard Balm that I use is from Pulpo Beard Oils. Um, I guess I couldn't shouldn't say beard oils, but it's from Pulpo. Um, he makes oils, butter, uh, oils, balms. Uh, he has merch, washes, all types of cool stuff. Uh, Pulpo is also a bearded villain, so I happened to run into him. Well, I shouldn't say run into him, but I met him in Miami a couple weeks ago. So shout out to bearded villain, shout out to Pulpo, shout out to West Texas, and all the uh, beards and people who represent for Pulpo beard oils. So here we go. Once again, this is Pina orange, but the scent is not really why I'm here. I'm here to talk about my experience. So this was a little different because, um, I didn't, I haven't really seen any reviews on Pulpo. I'm sure there's some out there. I just never really looked. Um, it, I kind of don't want to get too much into it because it's it's sparking another it's going to spark another conversation with, with another video. I know a lot of times all of the video isn't watched, so and a, a lot of times I take um, things that I say and turn that into another video because I know everybody doesn't watch the entire video. But it was a little different because it's not your what I would consider a true beard balm, and that's not a shot of Pulpo. Uh, or anybody who makes bombs like this it's just that it's it's one of those things where you whoever makes these products calls it what they want right there's always this back and forth with what's butter and what's bomb based on ingredients but what i know um even though i never made anything just from getting stuff in my hands and using it constantly uh it's all about how much you're using of a product out, out of a um uh ingredient because, you know, depending on how much beeswax you use, um, it may be stiff, it may not. Depending on how much shea butter you use, it may be stiff, it may not. But this is one of the, the uh, balms that is not very stiff. It's very smooth and very uh, soft and easy. Look how easy I can get that out, right? It's very easy to get out. It's almost... It's almost a butter consistency. I will say that it's a butter consistency. It's not like a real styling um, agent, let's just call it as Lux, Luxurious Bastard. His balm is really thick and I will consider that you have to get in there and scrape it out with your nail in order to get it out and it's really tacky and it's really, really good for styling. Um, same with uh, the Beard Baron. The Beard Baron, I would consider a true bomb. You, you have to get in, you have to dig it out, and it's, it's really tacky, and you can feel it. it. It really does a really good job of laying down hair and, and um, helping with styling. Um, I would also throw uh, Bad Dog Beard Co. in there. His from, I haven't used any of Jeff's stuff in a long time, but when I used Jeff's stuff, it was, it was a, like a... Um, a medium heavy hold if that makes sense it's like a, a notch below um luxurious bastard and the beard baron it's a notch below but you still feel the tact if it, you can feel it it does a really good job of styling your beard i would even throw evan out evan alexander in there it's it's pretty stiff and you got to kind of get it out evan alexander is a little bit lower than bad dog but it's still what i consider a balm this is definitely <sighs> I know it's a it's it's marketed as a balm, but this to me is a butter. I'll show you again, once again, you know. And this is not a shot of poopo or anything like that. This is just to show you that, you know, just because it says balm on there, doesn't necessarily mean it's a balm. Scotch Porter is another one. They have a butter. Everybody would call that a butter. I don't think anybody would call that a balm. Everybody calls that a butter, or would call it a butter. 
um, speculation, <laughs> but it's more of a uh, butter consistency. But Scotch Porter markets it, market, markets it as a bomb. But let me say this: absolutely great product. This is like I said, it's not a knock or not a shot at Pulpo. I just think if you're looking for like some serious hold. I don't think Pulpo is the one for you if you're really looking to, to knock those flyaways, keep those flyaways down, and hold a style. Now, for me, the texture of my beard, I don't really need a styling agent. When, where I set my beard, that's where it stays. You know, I might knock down a couple flyaways a little bit, but it's nothing significant and nothing that's really going to change. Where I set my beard, that's where it holds. So I don't need a real balm like a, what i consider a real styling balm i was kind of looking forward to having like a real real styling balm because i haven't used anything like that in over two years um i did a video on that i will drop that uh i'll pin that in the top comment of me not using a uh, beard balm um yeah i think it's called i'm not using beard balm or beard oil beard oil or something like that and i was just using butter but i you know because i thought that all this wasn't necessary. Beard oil, beard this, beard that. I just felt like it wasn't necessary and beard butter was my go-to. So I haven't used beard balm in about two years. I'm getting interrupted. Sorry, got interrupted. You know I'm in the car studio. So anything can happen when I'm in the car studio. When I'm in the crib, usually things go a little smoother. But yeah, I just wanted to end the video by asking a question. Um, you know what? I'm not going to ask the question because I am going to hit on this topic more in another video so once again just wanted to give you my experience of using beard balm um for the first time in over two years so that's it you know questions comments are always welcome i hope you all have a good one thanks for watching peace